scent or sense which is to feel or to perceive or to think to be able to think or perceive sentient we are all sentient beings why are we sentient be uh, beings because we have the ability to feel or perceive things around us right so someone who has the five senses right so we are we are all people who have five senses so we are able to feel things or perceive things or gauge things sentiment comes from the same root sentiment comes from the same root uh opposite will be so you have consent when you are agreeing to something dissent is refuse to agree to something right so dissent is when you are refusing to agree to something sinister right so if you say that that is a very sinister plan the plan is sinister you usually associate sinister with evil but it's literal sinister's literal translation is simply left handed someone who's uh, who's a left handed was considered to be evil back in the day right because it was not common it was not normal people would usually be right handed so anyone who is not right handed but is a left handed person would be automatically considered to be evil or dangerous something that is out of ordinary right so uh, we also discussed uh, in earlier classes about dexterous dexterous its literal translation is right handedness but that is not how it is used today today dexterous means skillful right so you can see automatically that uh, people you uh, the popular perception or the popular belief of people and how it has come across generations right so earlier sinister only meant left handed but today a sinister person is an evil minded person back in the day dexterous literally meant right handed but today it means someone who is skillful same is the case with adroit adroit a d r o i t is also right handed but today again it means skillful and mal adroit is clumsy right so this mal is bad right so this is just to give you an idea about how people were or how society used to think back in the day right so everyone who was left handed was considered to be bad because he's an anomaly he's not he's an exception he's not part of the crowd right next soul is lonely or alone these are two different things right so being alone is simply a state of being right so i can be alone happily right so i can i can be alone happily right so alone is simply a state of being if someone likes being alone by himself or herself that's perfectly all right but if someone is lonely that is a negative thing right so because this is sad when someone wants company but doesn't have company and he's missing that company then he said to be lonely right so these are two different things one is being alone the other is being lonely right so what words uh, can we think of to describe this solo right so we know solo is singular uh we have solitary solitary is again one solitude is being alone right so i can be blissfully blissful solitude is actually a thing right so i'm very happy uh being away from the crowd 
where I am the only person in the next uh, say uh, two kilometers square kilometer radius I'm happy right so that's solitude right so that's only being alone that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm feeling lonely next uh, next is solve or solve which is to loosen so what can you think of pardon me all right so solution right you can think of solvent uh, you can think of uh, soluble insoluble right so adding the prefix in is going to work in the opposite direction insoluble or you can say insolvent right so all these words There is one word though, resolute. Re is to make it tighten again. Right? So if someone is working with resolute, that means that person is not giving up. He's not loosening his grip. That person is not releasing. Right? So that person is going on constantly with the job. That is having resolute. Right? So that is what you do when you have your new year resolution. What do you do with your new year resolution? you make up your mind that I will do one, two, three, four, five things this year that I couldn't do earlier, right? So we have strong will and determination to do something that is resolution. That is the opposite of loosening or releasing or taking something in a lighter way. You're taking it very seriously when you are resolute about something. Somnus is sleep. So one word that probably all of you know is insomnia right where the prefix in is working as a negation so someone who can't sleep or someone who has a problem uh, when that person tries to sleep is said to be suffering from this thing called insomnia right so uh, somnambulist somnambulist som sleep amble is walk right so someone who walks in sleep right so someone who is a uh, someone who walks in while he is sleeping that person is said to be a somnambulist right so uh, what else can you probably think of you have soporific soporific this is something that induces sleep something that in you so it's like a medicine right the soporific is a medicine that causes sleep or helps you sleep next sona sona or son is sound so uh, what can you probably think of sound itself apart from that uh, we can think of sonorous loud sound right uh, Dissonance, resonance. You guys know from physics when resonance happens and when dissonance happens, right? So resonance is when uh, everything is happening at the same frequency and therefore the amplitude is sort of magnified, right? Whereas dissonance is when uh, th uh, all these sound waves are happening at different frequencies, different wavelengths, and therefore. Uh, the end sound is probably more like noise than a sound. Uh, unison, right? They all agree to it in unison. Means single sound, single voice. So they all said yes or they all said no, right? So uni is one, son is sound. So unison is everyone is coming to a collective understanding or collective agreement to do something or not to do something next spec or spec or spec is to see or to look at right so spectacular or your spectacles you know what spectacular is right something which is visually very appealing something which is very good to look at is spectacular spectacles are your specs that you wear to be able to see better right so 
uh, what else can you think of uh, retro spec inspect right so when someone is inspecting that person is looking carefully when someone's retrospecting that person is going back and looking at something that is something has already happened the situation has already happened but in retrospect means now that uh, I can see the entire situation if I can go back and see this is what I make of the or this is my analysis of it retro is back right I n is the prefix here retro is the prefix there then uh, you have specimen right so what is a specimen something that is unique right so you have a specimen of that particular kind or that particular animal right so that is uh, if you have one specimen of uh, that particular animal you can know that every other uh, animal in that particular category will look similar right so specimen again is something that looks unique right so that's a specimen then uh, you have uh, conspicuous conspicuous is something which is very obvious to see something is very obvious to see something that you cannot miss right so for example you can say that uh, Amit Shah was conspicuous by his absence in the last BJP meeting what am I saying here that this person called Amit Shah did not attend the meeting and everyone noticed it it was very obvious that he didn't turn up why will that happen because he's an important person if someone important doesn't turn up at an event everyone will notice right so conspicuous is something that is very clear something that's very obvious to see then squall so a couple of words here squalid condition or when you say squaler this means that something uh, you usually say squalor you can say mud right so something which is unclear or something which is uh, dirty right so something which is unclear or dirty is said to be squalid condition or squalor surrect or surge is to rise right so you know surge is to go up resurgence what is resurgence something that's going up again re is again right so similarly resurrection resurrection is actually coming back to life coming back to life from from being dead right re is again surrect is come back right so resurrection is coming back to life right so, and then you have insurgency you would have heard of this term called insurgency in is within surge is rising right so that means that uh, there is a kind of protest happening from within the community so uh, insurgents are different from are different they are not the same as uh, foreign enemies right so if you're talking about a, a, a government for example or a country they're the insurgents those are people who are there within the country who are rising against the system and then there are foreigners who are also doing that right so in is within surge is to rise right so insurgents are those who are rising or who are fighting against the system from within the system not, not from outside <coughs> tack or tick is to be silent what can you think of tacit 
so a tacit agreement is an implicit agreement that is it is unspoken people understand even without having to write something down or speak actually it is unspoken it is understood right unspoken or something that is understood tacit taciturn is a person who speaks very less speaks very little <coughs> taciturn is a person who speaks very little reticent also means the same right a reticent speaker is someone who speaks very less is not a talkative kind of person tact or tang is to touch what can you think of uh, when you think of to touch tangible obviously the opposite of this is intangible so tangible is something that you can measure or touch and feel the prefix in is negating that so an intangible benefit is something that you can't measure it is there and you enjoy it but you can't really put a number to it or you can't actually describe it right so that is intangible same is the case with tactile tactile and tangible are synonyms they both mean the same ten or tain is to hold or keep so tenacious is extremely strong hold tenacious is an extremely strong hold so uh, when someone's having tenacious or tenacity is another way of saying the same thing having tenacity is having a strong resolution like we were discussing a couple of slides ago strong resolute tenacity is being strong minded testis is witness so you can think of testimony you can think of testament all these mean the same that is you are being a witness to something testament or testimony is when you are or testify right that is what someone who is a witness will go to court and do he'll testify against somebody right so he is a witness in that particular case tim is fear so you can probably think of timid right so someone who is very shy timid personality is a very shy and uh, scared kind of a person timorous means the same tort is to twist or turn distortion you all probably know this right so something that is twisted out of its original shape is called distorted something which is uh twisted or turned out of its original shape so that it's not in its original shape anymore is called a distorted version right so contortion you have someone called as a contortionist someone called as a contortionist what does this person do he twists and turns his body in ways unimaginable right so you can probably if you don't know or if you haven't come across this word so far you can just google for this uh, in terms of images and you can see the different ways in which these guys bend and twist their bodies right so that is that is sort of like a a category of people who do that like you have a gymnast you have a contortionist who uh who actually twists for public display right so that's again tort then you have torture right so when when you're actually torturing somebody you're twisting 
and turning that person's mind over right so you are torturing that person it's either physical or mental torture so you are actually basically uh, not putting it in its original place be it the body or the mind right so that is torture tortuous tortuous is twisted road right so if if there are a lot of twists and turns in a road it's called a tortuous path or a tortuous road moving on toxic is poisonous right so you probably have heard of toxic or a toxicant right so all these words mean something to do with poison next tract is to draw or drag or pull so traction his idea finally got traction what do you mean by that his idea finally got some recognition or there was some pull towards it people started appreciating whatever was being done right people were drawn in together right so that is traction you have a uh, tractable which is another variant of the same thing protract right so you uh, guys probably remember from your uh, geometry boxes that there is this something called protractor right so what will it do it would help you draw circles or uh, different angles right so what do you do there you actually uh, drag those two aside and try and draw right so that is protract to pull and to draw transcend so transcend or transcend or transcendent is when someone's moving beyond trans is beyond right so transcend transcending boundaries would mean when you are moving from one to another sphere altogether you are climbing out of one zone to another zone we discussed earlier scan was to climb right so trans is beyond so when you're transcending you're actually climbing beyond the existing or the current uh, zone to the next zone next transage is to come to a settlement so what what can you probably think of here a transaction so when will a transaction happen between two parties when both of them come to a common understanding or a common agreement to something if that is not happening you would call that situation intransigent intransigent is the prefix in here is negating it so what is intransigent when people are not able to come to a common consensus next transier is to go across so uh again from your science classes you know uh, what a transient state is when something is not stable it's constantly moving from one to another state it's said to be in a state of change right so a transient change is the state of change which is not really stable to go across from one to another state is transient trem is a quake or quiver so uh, you can think of tremors that we all experience during uh, earthquakes right so uh, you have uh tremble when do you tremble when you're scared of something you'll be tremble with fear right so that again is when you are shivering or shaking with fear or uh or uh in a very cold situation you would again be trembling physically next uh try or trust is to push or to uh, show some thrust so you can think of intrude who is an intruder someone who is 
pushed his way inside right an intruder is someone who is not a guest into a house but someone who is pushed or thrusted his way into the so someone who is uninvited or or unwelcome is an intruder is upward disturbance so you can think of turbulence turbulence is when things are not stable right so things are moving things are in constant uh, state of change constant change and not in a stable state that's said to be turbulent right so you'd say that uh these are very turbulent times we don't know what will happen if we get out of the house what do you mean by that that means that there's a lot of uproar there's a lot of disturbance in the society and uh you can't call it a stable kind of a society that is turbulent or you would say turbulent waters that means the water is not uh uh the water is not stationary the water is actually wavy right so there is a bit of disturbance in the water vacuous is empty you can already imagine vacuum being one of these words but also evacuation you have heard of this word as well right so evacuation is when a place needs to be made empty in case of emergency situations so if there is a fire or if there's an earthquake you'd say that this place needs to be evacuated that means that people must move away from this place and this has to become empty so that there is no uh, personal loss or personal loss next vega or vegas is to wander is to wander so you can think of uh, all right so <coughs> excuse me so vagrant who can be called a vagrant someone who is more like a nomad or you can call him a wanderer someone who is not settled in a <clears throat> particular place and someone who doesn't really belong to one particular locality but keeps moving from a place to another he said to be a vagrant kind of a person right so or you can call it vagaries or you can also call that person a vagabond a vagabond is again a person who roams around a traveler someone who doesn't really stick to one particular place next well is to be strong or to be well so what can you think of valor right so a warrior is supposed to show valor during a battle valor is show of strength valor is show of strength we also have valid or validity right so when would you say that this is a valid argument when something is proper is in its proper condition to be well right otherwise it will be invalid next a uh, when or any momentum which is to come or to move towards so a uh, venue comes from this right so what's a venue it's a place that you go to for a meeting or a party etc that's a venue then you have a uh, again from it's like an offshoot of the same thing a convention center is again a place where people come to meet generally for business meetings but also adventure comes from the same root what is an adventure when you step out to do something right so when you move out to do something that you won't usually do in your regular time that is an adventure
Right, so all these words come from that particular root. Okay, so another one that you can probably think of here is contravene. Contra is against. Right, so when you're moving against, that is contravene, or you're going against something, it's a contravening action. That is, it's a action which is done opposite to the other thing. Contravene is to go against, to move against. Next, verb is a word. So, you probably know this. Someone says that this has been said verbatim. That means I'm saying it exactly word to word. Verbatim is word to word. That means I'm not saying anything of my own or I'm not summarizing the discussion. This is verbatim. That means this is exactly what he said and this is exactly what I am repeating in front of you. Right? Verbatim is word to word. An exact replica word to word. Right? So again from verb uh, we have uh, all these uh, proverb, proverb, adverb, etc. Verge is to bend or turn. So you can think of uh, converge. Con is together. We just discussed that. So converge is when things are coming together. Similarly, you have diverge when they are moving away from each other. Converge and diverge are opposites to each other. Ver is true. So uh, verification comes from this, right? So to verify whether something is true or not is to verify, right? So uh, verdict, dict we discussed in earlier vocabulary class is speak right speaking the truth what what when do you say something is a verdict when the judge pronounces a verdict it is a statement of truth right so he will finally declare that the person who is accused is a criminal he did actually do something wrong or he will say no the, my verdict is that he is innocent that means that uh, based on whatever information whatever way the case has been fought I believe that the true statement is that he is innocent so verdict is true statement what else can you think of with ver you have uh, um, veracity the veracity of your argument would mean to say how truthful right so veracity is truthfulness veracity is truthfulness you also have aver if you're averring then you are actually giving a statement or a recorded statement that is I am going on record and averring to this fact that means I am putting this on record I am speaking the truth right so when you are uh, saying that uh, I am averring that means that I am completely sure that this is a true statement to say solidly that this is correct or this is right to my knowledge is to aver verse or word is change Right, so you can think of convert. You can think of uh, again similarly. You can think of divert. Convert is coming together. Divert is uh, moving away. You have introvert. You have extrovert as well. Who is an introvert? Someone who doesn't. Uh, someone who turns inwards basically and extrovert is someone who turns outside or outward that means that someone who is very sociable right so someone who can easily get along with people in crowds is said to be an extrovert kind of a person whereas an introvert kind of a person he will actually go inside he'll turn in himself in 
that means that he will stop uh, thinking about the rest of the world and he'll probably be talking to himself or he'll probably just be silent in a corner that is an introvert so someone who is shy someone who doesn't really enjoy company someone who would rather uh, be by himself or herself rather than get into and uh, interact with a crowd or a set of people is said to be an introvert right so vert also comes from the same thing right so we just discussed that vid is to see vid is to see so what can we probably think of over there we can think of uh, vivid you heard of this word uh, vivid i had a very vivid dream last night that means that the dream i had was very close to reality it was almost like i was living through that and not actually seeing it right so vivid is something which is very close to real life in terms of whatever you just saw vivid is a very close representation of reality then uh, what else can you think of when you talk about vid we can think of uh, or even vis right so visible if you add a prefix invisible uh vision right so who is said to be a visionary a visionary is someone who has far sightedness that means someone who doesn't just think of today and tomorrow but can actually think of uh what can happen in the next generation right he is said to be a visionary someone who can think and plan for a long period of time not just for uh, today and tomorrow right so uh, that's why you have uh, people like uh, uh, say steve jobs or people like uh, elon musk they are said to be visionaries why they not they haven't worked on things that uh, are probably immediately useful but things that will remain useful for a long period of time right so they are called, said to be visionaries someone who can actually see through everything see ahead in future as to what will make sense and what will not someone who ha- is a visionary next wig is a tribe of flourish so vigorous vigorous is when something is being done in a complete manner so vigorous is something that's done in a flourishing kind of a way what else can you think of yeah i mean wig that's the best word that you can probably come up with vindict okay this is vindict vindictive or vindicate is when someone is doing something to re- take revenge to seek revenge vindicate or vindictive virus is poison so that's self explanatory uh, but a couple of other words which come from the same are virulent virulent or uh, or you can say virulence again mean the same thing something which dangerous or poisonous kind of a situation virulent or virulence next viv is life viv is life so you have revive reviving somebody is bringing that person back to life revive re is again the prefix here which means again revive is to bring back to life uh you have con vivial con is together right so someone who is also called gregarious someone who is sociable right so we just discussed extrovert kind of a person 
right? So corn and lively, someone who is lively, full of life when he is amongst a crowd or amongst his relatives or friends, whatever, right? So corn is together and viv is lively. So someone who is good in groups, someone who gets along well with everyone in groups is said to be a convivial kind of a person. VOC or VOK is a call or voice. We discussed this uh, in an earlier class. So we can think of uh, uh, vocal, right? So when you're being vocal about something, you're actually speaking it out, right? So vocal, uh, you have revoke. What is revoking something? Bringing it back, right? So an order was passed yesterday, but it has now been revoked. That means it's been brought back. That is, it is now probably cancelled, right? Whereas you have invoke. Invoke is to from within you are saying it out, right? Invoke is to bring out, bring something out. Then you have provocative. When you're provoking somebody, what are you doing? You're actually asking them. You're needling them, right? So to provoke is to needle somebody, annoy or irritate somebody, right? So basically, try and piss somebody off is provoke. Uh, war is uh, to eat or devour. So you can think of someone having a voracious appetite. Having a voracious appetite is a huge appetite, right? So uh, you have uh, a carnivore. Who is a carnivore? Someone who eats flesh. Khan, C-A-R-N, Khan is flesh. You have uh, similarly herbivore. You have uh, omnivore. Right? Omni is someone who eats everything. Herbi is someone who eats only vegetables and uh, plants. Right? Then vox is a uh, voice. Vox is voice. So again, uh, this probably has been discussed. Uh, it's sort of similar to VOC. Right? So voice, uh, vocal, etc. would come in into picture again. Right, so these are the set of uh, words. Uh, there will be less number of words which have uh, roots with Y or Z or W. So this is where we will end.